Okay, so hello ladies and gentlemen. Um, so I'm out on the bike, it's a lovely day, and I thought it's about time uh, that I do a long-term ownership review. Give you the pros and cons of the bike, and then at the end we'll have a little conclusion uh, about my, uh, my thoughts and what's going to happen going forward. So stick around and check it out. Hello, so we're just heading to the normal or usual spot where um, I'll hop off and we'll go over some pros uh, about the bike, some cons, and then uh, we'll jump back on the bike and I will give my conclusions. So let's head there now and uh, I'll let you know what I think. Right, finally, the usual spot was um, out of action, shall we say. So anyway, I've been riding around trying to find somewhere else suitably quiet. Right, I think we should start with the pros. So the pros being, this is a good sized bike in terms of sort of engine capacity, capacity and stuff. I think it's A2 friendly, so learners can get on it, you know, new, new people with their license, not learners, you know what I mean, people with an A2 license. Um, oh, it's dusty as well, it's been uh, not been used. Um, the fuel, fuel consumption, I get about, 67 miles to the worst that's very uh, precise isn't it 65 to 70 miles to a gallon out of it so on a full tank i'm looking at about 120 miles if i if i ride it carefully um power wise yeah it's good it's enough power it's actually all you need i think um it will easily do 70 on the motorway giving you a little bit more in reserve should you need it um it can beat most things off the lights um, yeah, so power-wise, all very good. Um, the appearance of it as well, I think it looks like a bigger bike than it actually is. Obviously, it's a 310cc bike, but I think it looks uh, looks bigger than that. And certainly a lot of people, they just see that big sort of GS logo and uh, assume it's, a, I say, proper, proper GS, um, because it's not. All right, let's face that um running i mean running costs the insurance is relatively low i mean i'm a mid-30s chap six years and no claims bonus it's only about 120 quid a year for me that's social domestic and pleasure so it's um yeah servicing it's <coughs> excuse me um servicing um it's due for its um uh, a new service in a couple of weeks that's going to be about 160 pounds i think the first service was about 80 to 100 pounds um so one second <coughs> um so yeah it's um i don't know really how that compares because i've never really had a, a much bigger bike um to compare it to but you know it's still still a fair bit of money Luckily, I've not had to replace the tyres yet, but they're, I think you're looking at about £150 for a set, front and rear. Oh, no. Oh, that's all right. I thought I had a nail in the front tyre then. Um, but yeah, what are the pros? Um, it's easy to ride. It's, you know, it's a straightforward bike. There's nothing fancy on here. There's none of the uh, traction controls or riding modes anything like that so if we look here it's all it's all very straightforward um excuse the dust again it's uh yeah it's quite straightforward right the cons <sighs> quality i would say although it's got that bmw badge on it i don't think it's up there with uh with what bmw is about um it's it's plastic everywhere. Everywhere is plastic. Um, I, I don't know what it is. I can't put it into words. But it's not great quality that like I'd expect from BMW. Um, simple things. This headlight. Uh, it it wobbles. Look, there you go. I can do I can do it there. So when you're riding along, that flickers. You can see it on the road. Going blah, blah, blah. 
and I imagine that's pretty annoying for other drivers. Um, I've looked online. Um, I don't really know if there's a cure for that. Um, how many safety recalls has it had now? Now, I know that's not a quality thing. That's just how it goes. But it does get a bit annoying when there's sort of loads of them. So I think we're right. it's going in for its uh, one, two, third safety recall now uh, in a couple of weeks for the same thing that it was last time, which again is a little bit annoying. Um, so yeah, that's that grates on me a little bit. Uh, but I don't, the service also I'm getting from, from BMW is disappointing. Um, you kind of say with embarrassment that you, you want to book in your G310 GS. And I'm like, oh, right, okay then. Yeah, what, what do you want? Um, so they don't, I don't think they treat you like one of their prestige customers. I, I think there's an underlying problem with this bike. Uh, the alternator, I think, is an issue. My battery runs flat to the extent that it will not start the bike unless I keep it on a trickle charger after every single ride I've been on. They've had a look at it. They say it's nothing to do with the battery or the alternator or the electrics. Um, so it must be something I'm doing. I'm thinking, well, that's, that's not very good. That's not great service. So actually, I don't trust this bike anymore. Um, I can't go on a journey away from home overnight unless I take a trickle charger with me. Um, so going on sort of a long ride, a long tour somewhere is out of the question, which is something I'd like to do on this bike because it's quite capable of doing it. Um, so um, I just don't trust it, unfortunately. One thing, also something that annoys me is this side stand. The bike is in a very upright position. So on other bikes I've had, the, the, the bike will actually lean more to the side with the side stand on it. I don't know. Look, that's front on. It's almost upright. So if you're on a path or a road that has that isn't flat, has a very slight incline in it, you can't park on it because you put a side stand down, you're practically like trying to find the center of gravity to balance it. Otherwise, you're just going way over it goes. There's a little demonstration there of another pro. It's um, It's not too heavy. You can move it around quite easily. Anyway, yeah, so that side stand's a bit weird. You almost have to chop like half an inch off it so the bike will lean over a bit more. Um, I think, I, I, I can't think of any other cons. It, I mean, it is what it is. It's a five grand bike. Um, oh, here's another example of the quality. Look, don't know if you can see that. That's the clutch lever. And it just wobbles. Look, look at that. So you're riding along, it's like blah, 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 more. So it's just wobbly bits. Um, well, well, it's quite loose, so the clutch, I can, there's only resistance about, so there's that much play before I get resistance there. Ah. I'm sure you could tighten that up and stuff, but I shouldn't really have to be doing that all the time. Um, let me see what the brake lever's like, see that. Yeah, again look, a little bit the same. I mean, it, it does what it does. I mean, when it was um, being used by me every single day, by going into work, you know, in and out, what's that, 40 mile round trip, absolutely perfect. It did that, no problem. Um, however, as soon as I come home, I'd have to be plugging it straight back in uh, due to that lack of trust I mentioned. So, um, yeah, they're my initial thoughts. I'm, I'm no expert, but that's just what I feel. Um, yeah, let me know if you... If you I, I'm going to upset with some people I know with this. So uh, I apologise for that. But it'll be good to hear from you. If, you. if you want to argue against what I said, then please do. You know, I'm saying I'm not right. I'm not correct on this. But anyway, let's jump on. And... Oh, there's another con. Sorry, I just want to heave myself onto it. It's, uh, it's not tailored for the smaller person. It is... Uh, it's a little bit of a climb up onto it, but you know, you'll, you'll work that out when you're uh, checking it out, wouldn't you? If you're going to buy it or not. So let's have a little ride and I'll give you my conclusion. Now don't, don't expect anything major here. My conclusion is, it is a perfect, brilliant bike for someone who perhaps wants a second bike 
so one that's smaller than their you know their, their big um, I don't know their big GS or their their thousand RR um, it's perfect for commuting to and from work because it's got that power that you need it's got just enough power you're not going to lose your license on this bike um, but it will handle the motorway quite happily it will handle inner city streets quite happily it's probably a little bit wider than your standard commuter bike um, but you just have to work that out and see the spaces you can filter through so yeah really good really good for that kind of thing did me no problems at all in and out of work quite happily you can also load it up with luggage as you see I've got a top box uh, quite a big one doesn't look out of place on this bike because it's a relatively large looking bike anyway um, so yeah um, however I don't think it's quite the quality I was expecting oh this is going to be fun um, bits wobble on it I've lost trust in it oh, oh. thanks fellas um, I've lost trust in it so I don't want to be taking it on long journeys or anything like that um, it's not expensive but I would like to buy something that I believe in and trust in so what's happening well probably after the summer um, when I'm in a position to do so I will be handing this back to BMW I will have to voluntarily terminate my finance agreement and uh, I will be getting something new I've already pretty much decided what that's gonna be so you will have to stay tuned and uh, and find out I'm gonna do some test rides of a range of bikes in the meantime and I'll, I'll record those but yeah unfortunately the G310 GS is going back it's uh, it's let me down frankly there was a time uh, when it wouldn't start so they had to come and collect it and take it away again due to the battery I mean this bike's not uh, what is it two years old it's just over I don't know, a year and a half I've had this um, so yeah they're my thoughts anyway it's going but it's good it was good for when I needed it for its purpose a specific purpose which was that commute into work um, sadly that's not needed anymore well actually it's quite a good thing it's not needed anymore because I didn't enjoy working there but um, yeah I don't need it for that purpose so it just kind of annoys me a bit that it, I've got it because I don't trust it and can't use it for anything more I hope that is interesting for you and I hope you found some useful points uh, let me know if there's anything I haven't covered that you want answered because I'll be more than happy to do so um, stay safe and well everyone uh, ride safely and uh, I will catch you soon thanks for listening bye bye <laughs>